And here comes the fire duck. Now we have a fire duck that quacks. This bro is really waiting for us to come out to attack us. This guy is too stupid. I think we moved quite far away so that he wouldn't kill us. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pumpkinhead. What floor are you going to? Hooray! We made it! We received some kind of award. It looks like some kind of winner's cup! It's called a trophy! Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Roblox Strange Elevator again. Little cute cow? What is she doing on this floor? I wonder if we should be afraid of her or not. I can't imagine how anyone could be afraid of such a small cow. Just look at her! Wait, what? Why did she turn into this? I think we need to step aside. Looks like we didn't make it in time. Well, this floor turned out to be not the most successful for us. Let's try again. I hope this will be an interesting floor. What is this? Completely dark room? They found some eggs there in the distance. We won't have time to pick them up. Well, okay. Looks like that's all there was on this floor. I think we can move on to the next one. I hope there will be something interesting on this floor. It's TV Man. I think we need to hide from him somewhere in this location. I wonder if there is any interesting loot here that we can take with us. It seems to me that we won't find anything interesting here because this location is very empty. Well, let's just hide from him so that he definitely doesn't kill us. Just look how big this location is! Great! We teleported back into the elevator! Well, let's move on to the next floor. We haven't come across a single interesting floor in this game yet. It looks like some kind of baseball field or something. Okay, just look, we have weapons. It seems to me that now we need to shoot at everyone who is here and defeat them. We need to be alone in this game. You killed that guy and that girl standing there? Great, well done. All that remains is to kill all those who are in the elevator and then we will definitely be left alone in this game. It seems to me that our shells don't reach there. Oh wait, someone killed them. Look, who is this? We need to kill her. And that guy who stayed inside the elevator too. Great, we're left alone. We beat all these guys. It was pretty easy to win. I hope that this gun will remain with us in the future. I would really like for us to have such cool, deadly weapons in this game. It could defeat many enemies that would come our way. This location looks like the surface of some planet. Meteorites begin to fall from the sky. We need to find a safe place where not a single meteorite will fall on us. How did we even get into space on the elevator? I don't understand it a bit. But every time I remember that there is no logic in Roblox and I stop asking this question. How long it will be going on? Great! It's finally over and now we're heading to the next floor. I hope the next floor will be less pointless than this one. Red Tunnel? Look! Who is this? It's Pennywise? Buddy, I think you went a little in the wrong direction. Maybe he's hiding in this corner and thinks we didn't notice him. This bro is really waiting for us to come out to attack us. This guy is too stupid. Let's try to get out a little. Maybe he is aggressive towards us? No, that didn't happen. Well, this floor was just as pointless as the previous one. Let's go to the next one. We're on the next floor. It looks like some kind of room. Look, this is a funny caracol. Is this his room? She looks like this is the house from Weird Strict Dad. He has a pretty cool room. I like her very much. Wait, does he kill everyone who is in the elevator? We definitely can't get back into the elevator, otherwise he'll kill us along with everyone else. Oh no, the game teleported us back and this bro stayed here. Did he really kill us? This is the worst bug in this game. Why would this guy even run inside the elevator? Well, I hope there won't be such bugs on the next floor. Just look, on this floor ducks are falling from the sky. They wrote to us in the comments under the last video that we need to look for the fire duck and it will remain in our inventory. Well, let's keep a close eye on all the ducks that will fall down. We definitely need to take the fire duck with us. And here comes the fire duck. No one noticed her and we took her first. Cool. Now we have a fire duck that quacks. I think this is the best reward that could ever be picked up. Why doesn't every floor have some cool rewards? I wish we could have this fire duck forever. Maybe there will be something really interesting in the next floors. Oh no! Just don't, Obby. I remember how we tried to pass this Obby last time and we didn't succeed. Well, maybe this time Jax will try a little harder and we can still get through this Obby to the end. I'd love to see what we get at the end. Maybe it will also be some kind of cool reward, like a fire duck or something like that. I will try very hard to pass this obby, because I also really want to see what is at the very top. Maybe this time we will actually be able to complete it to the end. I hope that the fire duck will help us as a mascot, and with its help we will really be able to complete this obby to the end. 
Well, we fell once. But I think it's not a problem, because we can move on after losing a little HP. You need to try really hard to reach the very top this time. I'm sure there will be some kind of reward waiting for us there. Oh no! We have very little HP left. You need to try very hard and swim across to this ladder in order to climb to the very top. Hooray! We made it! We received some kind of award. Well, let's go back to the elevator and see what they gave us. It looks like some kind of winner's cup. It's called a trophy. Every time we take it out of inventory, we jump, and the sound of a screaming crowd is heard. This is a truly worthwhile reward. I'm very glad that we received it. Oh no! A lot of garbage is starting to fall out of this door on us. I hope he doesn't crush us. I'm very afraid of losing all the awards we received. We urgently need to climb to the very top of this garbage mountain and stay there until the very end of this floor. It's finally over. I really hope that the next floor will be something new for us. We have already seen a large number of floors in this game and some of them are repeated. And this is the same floor with the hot dog. We've already seen it. I remember this guy on the right exploded on this level. We too can receive a reward as soon as the invisible barrier disappears. We need to run as quickly as possible to the sausages that will fall out of this guy. Looks like someone beat us to it and collected this reward earlier. That we have two awards and they are very cool. And this hot dog is complete nonsense. So it's very cool that we have these cool awards in the form of a duck and a trophy. Oh no, it's that same pumpkin guy. We urgently need to run out of this elevator and escape from there as quickly as possible. I remember that last time this guy went into the elevator and killed everyone who was inside, so let's stay at the safest possible distance so that he doesn't kill us and we don't lose all these rewards that we received. I think we moved quite far away so that he wouldn't kill us. It's unlikely he'll follow us directly. Look, I think he's starting to get into the elevator. Why didn't anyone come out from there? He will now kill everyone who is inside, and they will lose everything they have accumulated. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pumpkinhead. What floor are you going to? I'll press the button for you. It's not difficult for me. The main thing is don't kill me. I still have a lot of awards in my inventory. Look, this is the location with Mr. Jigglypuff. I remember that you can't get close to him either. Last time he killed us when we got too close to him. Well, I hope nothing bad happens to us. I think we've moved to a pretty safe distance. Wait, did he teleport us into the elevator and kill us? Oh my god, how did this happen? Why did he eat us through the door? Oh no, we lost all the awards! I'm very sad about this. Let's go play the next game. Let's push her into this basement and close this door! I think she'll be very surprised when she wakes up and finds herself here. Look! Is it just me, or have I now become like the Gloinky Queen? Who is this guy? Perhaps these are the ghosts of the children this grandmother ever killed. It looks like Grandma called her friends. Hello, everyone, guys, and today we will run away from the grumpy granny's house. This house looks like a haunted house and not some grandma's house. It's very strange that she lives here. On the left, we have the tasks we need to do. It says that we need to find grandma's cookies. It's logical that we need to find a kitchen in this house. This door looks like a kitchen door. Great, this is it. Look, there are cookies on the table. Oh, no. Granny found us and is now running after us. Urgently need to get away from her. Actually, our assignment says that we need to find the key to the attic, and it seems to me that we found it right in this room where this grandmother came from. Well, now let's quickly go to the attic before she catches up with us. This granny is really quite fast, but she is breathing very heavily while running after us. Look, she has a lift to the second floor. She's so funny when she goes upstairs. I remember that the door to the attic was here somewhere. Look, here she comes. Great! Now we'll escape from this granny through the attic. She has some strange holes with spikes in her attic. Why does she need an obstacle course in the attic? I can't understand this. What? Stairs up? Does she have a double loft? Wait for her to have a whole floor above! But why does she live in a four-story house with a two-story attic? This house must be very expensive, and it looks like a homeless person died in it. I'm more interested in why she set traps in her attic. Usually they leave something like mouse traps in the attic. Maybe she's fighting some giant rats with these traps. She also pulled up barricades with barbed wire. This granny definitely has problems with her head. She's crazy. Great! We got out into the yard. Wait, did you hear her voice? Oh no, it's grandma. I thought we would just jump over the fence and be free, but now we need to look for another way out. Have we really jumped into the grave now? Wait, can you hear this skull snoring? These sounds are very cute. 
We actually play Roblox so often that we don't think the snoring skull is amazing. I think we're starting to slowly go crazy. No, I think we'll start going crazy if we keep playing favorite Pomni's games where we need to squeeze pimples and pull poop out of butts. Yes, we will definitely go crazy, but we will go crazy with happiness because these games are the most interesting of all the ones we play. I just love them. Oh my god, I'm wondering what will happen first. Will you and Pomni grow up, or will these games be banned all over the world? It seems to me that it is neither one nor the other. Well look, we are climbing some strange spiral staircase from these catacombs. This is strange because I don't remember any kind of castle or something like that in her yard. Was it really Grandma who built this dungeon herself? This place is really very scary. There are a lot of skulls and other scary things here. It looks like this door leads to some kind of labyrinth. Just look! Who is this guy? I think he looks a lot like a zombie. He's not alone here. There are a lot of them here. Perhaps these are the ghosts of the children this grandmother ever killed. It seems to me that this is true. Did this grandmother really kill so many children? Well, I think we need to run after this girl. She knows exactly how to get out of this place. Look, we are going up some stairs. I wonder where we will get out. It looks like some kind of well. Great! We're in the backyard of her house. Now we need to find a way out. Not this! I hear that grandma again, and here she is! Why does she always run after us? I think we need to go where she came from. There we will definitely find a way out of this place. This is again the door to some basement. Why do we constantly run away from it underground? I think we should just jump over her fence and escape from this damn area. In her basement, there is a huge abyss with a lot of thorns. I am more and more surprised by its modern renovation, if you can call it that. I hope that we will quickly escape from this house because this grandmother killed a huge number of children. I don't want us to become one of those kids. Let's quickly climb these stairs. I wonder what awaits us behind this door. Wait, there's some kind of leaderboard here and motorcycles? What are these motorcycles doing here? Are we really going to ride them on some strange route now? Um. This is quite strange, but very, very cool. Where did this grandmother get so much money to build such a huge house with catacombs, a two-story attic, a huge basement with an abyss with spikes, and a giant motorcycle track? Is this grandma a millionaire maniac? To be honest, I can't find an explanation for this. But the only theory I can imagine is that the grandmother kills children in order to sell them in parts. This theory certainly sounds very creepy, but I can't find any other explanation for the fact that she has such a rich and huge house. Well, the motorcycle race is over, and now we find ourselves in a huge room. Wait, what is this? Oh, this reminds me of the hallway with the huge slanting boulder in Barry's prison break. Well, they decided to put this task in this game too. They redesigned it a bit. It actually looks a lot cooler. At least there are colorful balls here. Yes, I also really like the fact that they borrowed this particular task from Barry's prison break. Of course, they could have chosen something more fun, but in any case, this task is also pretty good. Well, we passed it, and now we got out into the grandmother's huge yard. Look, there are some weapons in the very center. Let's take it quickly, and most likely the final boss fight awaits us now. I don't see anyone yet. All I noticed was the sounds of Grandma. Oh, look! One of them came down from the wall. It looks like Grandma called her friends, and now they're all going to attack me together. Well, I play shooters very well, and therefore I think that it will not be difficult for me to defeat all these grannies. Keep up the good work, Jax. You've already defeated half of the grannies. They move quite quickly, and you need to constantly look around you so that none of the grannies gets close enough to you. It shouldn't be that hard. Last granny left. Great, Jax. You did it. Well done. Well, let's go up that treehouse now. It seems to me that this should be the final point of escape from this grandmother. I'm very interested in what awaits us there. How did we get here? Well, we have to go down. Look, there are some cookies on the table here. Let's eat them. Maybe they will give us something? No, all they gave us was a funny reflection in the glass of this jar. Look, is it just me or have I now become like the Gloinky Queen? I'm as big and ugly as her. We got a super jump and a motorcycle and we found a location where the old woman who chased us down to the basement is still standing. It looks like she fell asleep. Let's push her into this basement and close this door. I think she'll be very surprised when she wakes up and finds herself here. 
Yeah, more let's rename our channel to Pranks on Roblox. This must be very funny. If anything, it was sarcasm. Well, let's finally move on to the next game. Have you ever noticed that this dungeon is very similar to my cave, guys? How the hell did you get on our server? What do you even need? You sick old bitch! Give us back our old voices! Today I want Jax to complete this prison in 550 seconds. Um, maybe we have some other way to fix the situation. Hello everyone, friends, and today we are going through the Barry Water Prison again. Today we will try to set a new record. Last time we managed to beat this game pretty quickly. I hope that this time, Jax, you will do it even faster. Just look at how hard he tries. He has already pressed the button, and not even 20 seconds have passed. I think he can set a record today. Wow, he's almost ventilating. He's really trying really hard to beat this game today. Well, let's see what he can do. Damn! This berry spawned too close to the button, and now I have to wait until he floats away from it so that I can calmly drive up to it and press it. Come on, Jax! This is your chance! Damn. Pressing this button is really quite difficult. Sometimes it happens that because of a bug in this game, it is very difficult for you to press this button. Can you stop talking confusing nonsense and talk in normal sentences? By now I understood what you wanted to say. I broke my brain three times. Stop arguing, guys. Well, our passage of this map was a little more complicated due to the fact that Barry spawned unsuccessfully. I hope this doesn't affect our final result too much. Yes, I really hope so too. So don't open other toilet stalls now. We need to open the second one because we know that it contains a tunnel to a huge dungeon. Have you ever noticed that this dungeon is very similar to my cave, guys? I think you should stop climbing all sorts of dungeons because you really annoy me with this. How the hell did you get on our server? What do you even need? Do you really still not understand what I need? Guys, have you noticed anything strange with yourself lately? Are you talking about those moments when we started to lag and our webcams looked like glitches? It seemed to us that this was happening because of that strange game that we downloaded. I'm talking about playing with that purple big-eyed guy. No, Kane, you're wrong. This happened because you have not let me and the Gloins out of our nest for four months. We haven't seen the light for a long time. Maybe you should finally come down to us and do something about this. It seems to me that this is the most idiotic idea that could ever be proposed. Well, I wasn't happy to hear from you. Bye-bye, Queen of the Gloinks. Hope to not see you soon. Wait, what? You can't just kick me out. What? She said I can't just kick her out of here? Ha ha. As much as I can, continue to sit in your dark basement. I hope you never get out of there. Guys! I think something is happening to me! I really don't like it. It looks like we shouldn't have kicked Gloinks Queen out of here. Oh no! What is happening to me? Before that, only my face changed, but now my voice has also changed. Lord, what should I do with this now? I can't imagine how I should talk further. Guys, let's don't panic. We will definitely find a way out of this nightmare situation. Oh my god, she's calling us again right now. Be quiet. Let's listen to what she tells us. Well, do you guys like your new voices? Are you satisfied with what you did? You sick old bitch. Give us back our old voices. Otherwise, I'll go down to your basement and I won't set a digitized cough mo on you like I did four months ago when I first appeared at the circus. Stop threatening me, darling. Better yet, just listen to my demands. So today I want Jax to complete this prison in 550 seconds. If it lingers for even one second, these voices will stay with you forever. Um, I certainly love Jax very much and I know that he plays great games. But maybe we have some other way to fix the situation. For example, a way in which Jax won't have to set new records. Don't even hope. I will come here in exactly 330 seconds, and if I see that you are still completing this game, I will never give you your votes back. Well, good luck. I hope you have a lot of faith in your friend. Well, it looks like our voices are now in Jax's hands. I couldn't even think that such a terrible situation would ever happen to me. I hope that you really won't let us down, otherwise, in addition to your voice, I will also change your eternal smile by knocking out a few teeth from it. 
Guys, maybe you will stop putting pressure on me. I'm really not very happy that I now have to save the voice of each of you. This is indeed a very big responsibility, so just try to support me and stop insulting and scaring me. I totally agree with Jax. Stop saying bad things about him. He was now simply a hostage to the situation. I think right now the best thing we can do is give him the maximum support we can! Well, I really hope he can do it. Otherwise, we simply will not be able to film our series further. I really can't communicate in the series with such an ugly voice. Guys! No need to panic! Last time we managed to complete the Berry Water Prison in less than 550 seconds. And this time, I think we will be able to cope even faster because we have already completed this game once. And we know what needs to be done in it. I'm also sure that Jax will be able to do this pretty quickly. Look! We just completed the fan run, and now we're heading to this huge wind tunnel. The main thing is that Jax does not forget to press the jump button in time, so as not to fall down and waste time. He managed to do it. Cool. Now we are waiting for a boss fight with the boss cook, and then we will need to overcome only a few tasks before the final battle. So far, we're getting through it all pretty quickly. Jax, the main thing is don't forget to shoot him right in the head. This causes him to take a lot more damage. Just look! And you hit him only twice, and have already dealt him a quarter of his full HP reserve. Don't stop Jax! The main thing is don't let him come near you. Just shoot at him and swim to a safe distance so that he doesn't kill you. Guys, I'm trying to hit it, but sometimes it doesn't take damage. Well, great! I passed this. Now I need to run to this slide as quickly as possible and slide down it. Now we are waiting for a test with lasers, after which we will need to install bridges. I hope that I can do this as quickly as possible. Oh my god! I completely forgot that in this water prison, in the test with lasers, it is difficult to control due to the fact that we have to swim. Well, I hope this doesn't stop you from completing this level. Otherwise, if you need more than one try, we definitely won't be able to complete this entire game in 550 seconds, and we'll have to talk in these idiotic voices for the rest of our days. Kane, I think you yourself asked us not to scare Jax. In any case, he's already passed this test and he's almost at the finish line. There's only one challenge left before the final boss fight. Just look! He didn't forget to use a life hack and resets all the bridges down at once. Oh, that was a truly professional moment. He did not let go of the third board, but immediately placed it. This is very smart. Well done, Jax. You only have 500 seconds left to defeat the final boss. I think you miscalculated a little and wanted to say 50 seconds. Well, that's enough for me. I remember that this boss has very little HP. The main thing now is not to let him kill us. Guys, I'm here again, and wow, you're already at the final test. Well, I really advise you to hurry up, Jax. You only have 30 seconds left, and the boss still has a lot of health. Hurry up, buddy! Otherwise we will be stuck with these voices forever! I'm sure you can do it! We don't have much time left! Guys, I just beg you to shut up. There are only a couple of shots left. Come on, Jax! Just a couple of shots left! Great! Well done! You did it! Well, you old put to give us back our voices! Okay, okay, here are your old voices. Thanks, bitch. Just look! It's me again! It's very nice that the creators of this map leave so many Easter eggs with me. They chose your character because he is the most inconspicuous. I really hope that we won't get stuck anywhere else and we'll still be able to get to the end. I think you shouldn't have said this because this is what happened right now! Yes, we're stuck! Just look! This guy got out of the cart and decided to continue on foot. I really feel sorry for that guy and I even feel a little guilty. This guy flew in and stood right in our path. Oh no, he knocked us down a little. Hello everyone friends and today we together with Pomni will be climbing up on this cart. Wait, the whole point of the game is just to ride this cart along these rails and try to get to the very end. You're absolutely right, Jax. But at the end of this game, some gift awaits us. It is drawn on top of the progress bar, and I really want to receive this gift. So I really want to complete this game to the end. Well, okay, and here you need to... How do you control this cart? I just still don't quite understand the rules of this game. Yes, here you can start it, stop it, and adjust its speed. And you can also adjust its direction. It seems to me that you cannot use these buttons, but simply remove them from the keyboard and drive forward. No, because if you pick up a high enough speed, your cart may fly off this road straight down and you will have to start the race again. Wow, Bubble. Have you already played this game? You know so much about her. I've never seen this mode in Roblox before. Just look! 
There are digitized characters down there. It seems to me that we definitely shouldn't fall down there because they might attack us and digitize us. Is it just me, or did I see the Gloink Queen below? Oh no! I definitely don't want to fall down there! Let's just drive forward carefully, Pomni, and try to get through this to the end today. This game reminded me of another game that is very similar to this one. I played it when I was a child. It is called Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's a classic management simulation game where players are tasked with building and managing their own theme park. Players can construct and design roller coaster rides, manage staff and finances, and cater to the needs of their visitors. It's a lighthearted and fun game where players essentially get to be the boss of the amusement park and call the shots. There are various modes and difficulties to choose from, making this game an enjoyable and accessible experience. I wouldn't say that this game is similar to the one you're talking about. Rather, she looks like No Limits 2. It's a fairly realistic and immersive simulation game where players can design and build thrilling roller coaster rides. Players have complete control over the design of the roller coaster, including the layout, speed, and terrain. You can create your own unique roller coaster and then take a seat in the first-person view to experience the adrenaline-inducing journey firsthand. I don't even understand why you call these games! After all, you need to build a roller coaster in them, but here, we only need to drive forward and control the cart! Judging by the progress bar above, we are already halfway through this game, which means that I think that we will reach the final reward very soon. Okay, let's just drive and try not to fall down. Look, some guy got out of the cart and decided to walk. Oh, he fell! I'm so sorry for this guy. Well, let's just drive forward. I hope we don't have the same fate as him. Look, there's a little Jax up ahead. Wait, what? This guy flew in and stood right in our path. Oh no, he knocked us down a little, and now our cart is not riding correctly on these rails. This is very bad. Guys, I think you should level your cart a little so we can move on normally, because otherwise we might fall down and have to go all this way again. Well, we're moving forward, but just look at this cart. It feels like she's about to fall down at the next turn. We have half the cart hanging over the abyss. It's good that there are no climbs or sharp turns ahead. An almost straight road awaits us to the very finish. I really hope the flying guy doesn't appear again and drop us to the bottom. I'm very scared to watch this cart ride halfway on the rails. It feels like she's about to fall down. I really wouldn't want us to fall down now because we've been climbing up here for quite a long time. The rails ahead of us seem quite uneven. Oh no, looks like we're stuck. Let's try to increase the speed of this cart a little or move back and then try to drive forward. Another cart is approaching behind us. She may now collide with us. I hope this doesn't happen. Oh no, I think he's stuck too. What should we do now? Oh, it looks like he pushed us through. Well, now this guy's cart also doesn't run correctly on the rails. Well, I hope that we can get to the finish line together. Looks like he's stuck too. Sorry, guy. We can't help you because we're driving ahead of you. There's no way we can push you forward. Just look. This guy got out of the cart and decided to continue on foot. I really feel sorry for that guy and I even feel a little guilty. But I really hope that he will be able to reach the finish line on foot. One can only envy his determination to win. Okay, we only have a few turns left until the finish. I really hope that we won't get stuck anywhere else and we'll still be able to get to the end. I think you shouldn't have said this because this is what happened right now. Yes, we're stuck. The cart doesn't want to go either backwards or forwards. I hope that we will still be able to push it through somehow because we are just one turn away from the finish. Why did the cart decide to get stuck here? Well, we drove back a little, picked up speed, and now we'll try to accelerate through this place. Great! We did it! We're right near the finish line. I really hope that we won't fall off these rails while we climb up. Just look at how this cart rocks from side to side. It's like those videos on the internet where guys on motorcycles start to lose control and their handlebars start to spin randomly left to right. Seriously? Is this our gift? A long, boring obby that doesn't require any effort at all? I thought it would be something different. Maybe some cool skin or jetpack or the ability to super jump. Don't be angry, Regatta. They promised this gift at the end of the obby. I think it won't be difficult for us to get through this obby to the end. It's made for kids. I really hope that they really won't deceive us and will give us gifts at the very end. We have come a very long way to get to the end of this map. I can't say that it was very difficult, but there were still difficulties. Well, this doesn't even feel like a test. It's pretty easy. 
Riding this cart when strange flying guys are bothering you was much more difficult than jumping on these platforms. We went through Abby and more difficult ones. Just look! It's me again! It's very nice that the creators of this map leave so many Easter eggs with me. Maybe I'm their favorite character. Don't flatter yourself, Jax. They chose your character because he is the most inconspicuous and would be perfect as an Easter egg. We are very close to the finish line. Just look! Now we need to go down into this guy's mouth. Okay, well, this obby is pretty simple. I don't know why they made it so easy, but we still have to go through it. I thought that our tests would end immediately after the roller coaster. We are almost at the very end. Now we need to choose the right doors and not die. Oh no, on the first try, we chose the wrong one. Wait, where is our skin? Why was our skin taken from us? This is unfair. So now we have to go through this game with the default skin. Okay, it's good that we don't have many tests left. We just need to walk a little and we will be at the finish line. Great, we guessed all the passages correctly. Well, let's now go through the remaining tests and see what gift this game has prepared for us. Here are the final tests. We just need to slide down this slide. Just look! What a huge Ferris wheel they installed here. Great! At this location, we will be given the opportunity to change our speed, add a super jump, and the ability to fly? This is very cool. Let's test it all and move on to the next game. Just look! It's some kind of creepy pig in a dress. Oh no, wait! Something is happening to us. This strange girl appeared, and now we are starting to lag. Just look at this guy. His hair looks like a lollipop that fell on the carpet and is now covered in hair. Maybe if we offer you pizza, will you leave us? But it looks like not. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Hellish Elevator again. This elevator looks a little different. It's different from the elevators we played last time. Oh my god! What are those loud noises? What's going on here anyway? This is some kind of floor with an incomprehensible green house. Why is everyone running around it and not going inside? What's going on inside this house? So far, everything that happens in this game seems too chaotic to me. Okay, I think we should get back in the elevator and head to the next floor. Perhaps there will be something interesting there. Well, okay, we have arrived to the next floor. It looks like some kind of barn. It's very dark here and you can't see anything. I wonder what awaits us in this barn. Just look, it's some kind of creepy pig in a dress. She really wants to kill us. Why is she here? She opened some kind of portal. I wouldn't be in a rush to go straight to it. Do you really want to try to get to the second floor? It seems to me that it is impossible to get there. There is an invisible texture there. Well, let's go to the portal and see what awaits us on the other side of this portal. Yes, I completely agree with the bubble. Let's go there. Oh, this is some kind of white room with pink light. Wait, what? This pig killed us? Oh no, not this. Okay, we're back at spawn. Okay. First attempt to ride the elevator was unsuccessful. Well, I think we need to go there again to look at the remaining floors. We ended up in the same barn again. I think we should now run into that portal and try to avoid the pig again. Are you sure you want to go down there? This pig is quite strange. I think she runs very fast. Just look how she fights with everyone. Great! We're back in the elevator. Well, this time we managed to avoid the pig. Let's try to wait for the next floor. Great! We've arrived on the next floor. Look, there are some huge buildings here. It looks like aliens are sitting here. What is this red button? Maybe it's worth stepping on it there? Yes, let's try to step on this button and see what happens. I think some glass broke. Oh look, we freed the aliens and now they are running after the rest of the guys. Well, it looks like we did it in vain. These aliens are so fast. We urgently need to run in the other direction from them. Wait, what is this light? Oh no! We were killed by this UFO. Where did it even come from? Did we also free him? Okay, now we're at spawn and let's get back into the elevator. Oh, what's going on here? Did this UFO try to fly right into our elevator? Well, let's get up and try to get out of this elevator again. Perhaps we can find something more interesting in this location. The main thing is to hurry up so that this UFO doesn't catch us. By the way, where did the aliens go? I do not see them. In fact, I don't know where they went, but I'm sure that we won't find anything interesting on this map. Look, we're back in the elevator again. Cool. Let's go to the next floor. Great! We're on the next floor. Wait, what is this? Clown! Is he in the sewer? Oh no, he took out a knife! Now he will kill us! We have time to prepare and hide from him. But I think I have a better idea. Let's just go where he went. I think this will be pretty fun, don't you? I've never heard anything more stupid in my life, but this is Roblox. There is no logic here. So just let's go forward. Look, there are three paths and some kind of fire in the middle. Maybe we should go into one of these tunnels? 
There is some kind of invisible wall in this tunnel. Maybe it won't be in the other tunnel. Well, it seems to me that she is there too. Okay, let's try to go back. Oh no, there's a steel grill here. Wait, I see him. It's him. I think we should try to escape from him. Oh no, he started running. He killed some girl. Oh no, he's running after us now. Oh no, he killed us. I don't understand where we were supposed to run. It's a confined space here and this clown is very fast. Well, we're back at spawn. Let's buy something in this store. We have accumulated quite a large number of coins. Maybe we should buy some kind of spiral or something like that. Great. We bought a lot of different things, but I don't know how they can help us. Well, let's go to the elevator again. Look at some purple tunnel here. It is very beautiful in here. I hope no one will scare us here. Oh, no, wait. Something is happening to us. This strange girl appeared, and now we are starting to lag. This happened recently. Maybe if we offer you pizza, will you leave us? But it looks like not. Okay, wait, have we lost all our loot? Is it because we lie? I think something really strange is going on here. Do you remember this already happened to us when we played Minecraft? It's happening again. Well, okay, we're in the elevator again. Let's see what the next floor has in store for us. Just look, there is some kind of corridor and a very creepy guy. Did he go into this portal? Let's go after him. We urgently need to catch up with him. I didn't understand half the words due to lags, but the main essence remained clear to me. Why are we here and just look? This is some very strange place. For some reason this guy is standing near this pyramid. What should we expect from him? It seems to me that we can only wait for the moment when it moves. By the way, he turned in our direction and now he came closer to us. Oh no, our lights have gone out. Damn, what should we do? I cannot see anything. It's too dark in here. Looks like this guy is going to chase us in the dark. And no, look, there's a red light here. But this does not mean that it will be easier for us to pass this floor. We will again need to run away from some mad maniac with a knife. Just look, he has already killed someone and is running towards us. We urgently need to hide behind one of these columns. Oh wait, is this the end? Great, this level is over. We're in the elevator again. Just look at this guy. His hair looks like a lollipop that fell on the carpet and is now covered in hair. Well, okay, let's wait for the next level. This location looks pretty familiar to me. It seems to me that they have already seen her in one of the games, right? It looks like this is a location from Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, let's see. Wait, what? The light came on. Oh no, I know this guy. I saw him in Five Nights at Freddy's. He is very creepy. I hope he doesn't kill us now. By the way, guys, if you know this guy's name, write about it in the comments. Because to be honest, we all forgot his name. Oh no, it's him again. It's good that there is a huge glass here that doesn't allow him to get inside. Although, I think that... Oh no. Oh no, he's running right behind us. How did this guy even get through that glass? It seems to me that he should not walk around this location so freely. Well, let's just wait it out in the elevator and not get out. But I think we should go out and try to go into another corridor. Maybe there is something interesting there? Oh no, I think that was a bad idea. Well, we died again and find ourselves at spawn again. Just look at these wonderful sneakers. Now we'll go further down this elevator. Wow, they make light when they walk. This is very cool. This guy has the exact same ones. Just look at this. Okay, and here is the last location for today. These walls are so rusty. It looks like some kind of prison. I hope we don't go to jail in Roblox now. I would hate to sit in this prison wearing such cool sneakers. Nothing bad is happening here yet! We just walk around this location and explore it! Oh no! The light turned off! Perhaps this means that someone will appear soon! Well, it's good that we have cool sneakers that glow when we jump. This darkness is not scary for us and we can very quickly escape from the monster that may appear. But no one has shown up yet! Look, we have pizza! Great! We ate it! Well, let's wait for someone to show up. It might happen too soon. Interesting! Where will this monster come from? Oh, just look! There's a face there! Wait, what? Everything turned red. Oh no, that face came out of that wall. I think that we shouldn't come close to it because it could start moving towards us at any moment. It looks really very creepy and makes a very creepy sound. Oh no, it killed us. Well, I suggest moving on to the next game. Traps on the floor? Who sets traps indoors anyway? Are you moving like Michael Jackson? It really looks like a moonwalk. Last time I didn't even notice there was a giant ugly mouth down there. And what is this yellow portal? I think you're colorblind, Kingler. 
This portal is not yellow, but orange. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play this very creepy circus again. It turns out that last time we didn't completely complete this game, we missed several levels. This time we know how to get through it, but I'm still wondering what kind of secret levels await us. How could we even miss several levels? It seems to me that this is impossible. They wrote to us that these levels should have been after we entered the clown's mouth, but for some reason they weren't there. It's really quite strange. Oh look, it's the red ball again. Lead us, buddy. Well, it burst again. This was to be expected. Damn, last time I didn't even notice there was a giant ugly mouth down there. How is it even possible that we are jumping on balls? Do we weigh two grams? That's right, I forgot. This is Roblox, there's no logic here. Just look, there's fire coming out of these holes in the wall. I have never seen this in boiler rooms. Yes, it seems to me that this should work somehow a little differently. Well, okay, we got through them. Now let's run through these pipes. These pipes will be a fairly easy test. We'll get through it pretty quickly. Yes, this pipe is quite tortuous. The main thing is not to rush and go through it carefully. Otherwise, we may accidentally fall off and fall down. These pipes are quite thin for this job. Have you seen those strange grabbing hands? It seems to me that this does not happen at all in ordinary boiler rooms. Okay, the most important thing is that we went through them. Now we need to jump through these pipes. I'm very interested in what the real purpose of these pipes is. It's very strange if they really wanted to make a ladder out of them and made it so unsafe. It seems to me that this spiral staircase made of pipes is endless. Why is she so tall? Why didn't they put an elevator here? I think it will be funny if we fall right on the last pipe. We tried so hard to get up. I finally see the end of this endless climb. It's good that there will be a checkpoint there. Otherwise, if I fell somewhere, I wouldn't want to climb that endless staircase again. Jax, are you fighting with the microphone? What are these sounds? It feels like you're hitting the microphone with your fist. Yes, a fly just flew into my room and sat right on my microphone and I tried to drive it away. Okay, it doesn't matter. Have you even noticed how thin the pipes are here? It's very hard to go through them. Oh, just look. Circular saws. What are they even doing here? It's a circus. Have you guys forgotten that we also work in the circus and all sorts of strange things we don't have? It seems to me that if you try, you can also find circular saws somewhere here. I think Kane tried on this. Oh, look, it's the guy with the balloons. Let's find out from him what he wants to tell us. He talks about hearing a clown laugh, but I don't hear anything. Okay, let's go to this Ferris wheel. Just look at this clown. Oh my God, how creepy he is. He's trying to catch up and kill us. We urgently need to jump into this Ferris wheel. Now let's go up on this Ferris wheel. I really want to see the view that opens from it. This clown is so stupid that he couldn't sit in the same booth with us. That's great. I hope we don't see him again. Great. We jumped onto some platform! Just look! This bridge is very thin. We need to walk on it very carefully. Otherwise, we may fall down. It's good that there was a checkpoint on this platform. Look, another obby with balloons awaits us ahead. I hope we can get through it without falling. We're doing pretty well. The guy with the balloons again! He says we need to get on this drop ride. I hope he's not deceiving us and we can really go down safely. This thing really doesn't look safe. Oh my god, where did she take us down? What is this, Lava? This circus is really weird. Okay, the main thing is that we went down. I hope this clown is not running after us now. I wouldn't want to run away from him by jumping on platforms. And this dungeon is pretty creepy. Why did they even decide to do a job like this? It's weird to do stuff like that at the circus. Okay, let's move on. Are these huge falling knives? This looks really unsafe. And judging by the blood that is on these knives, someone is definitely out of luck. Huge swinging morning stars? This circus is really quite strange. Okay, the main thing is that we managed to pass them. I see the guy with the balloons again. What is this yellow portal? I think you're colorblind, Kingler. This portal is not yellow, but orange. Okay, let's go into it. This guy seems surprised that he's here. Checkpoint? Great. Now we need to cross this bridge. Who even makes bridges to jump on? Usually they are made in such a way that you can walk on them. Yes, we did it. Great. Bubble, I don't understand your indignation about bridges at all. You actually fly. Not only do you not need a bridge, you don't even need a path. You can go anywhere you want. Look, these things actually levitate in the air. It seems to me that this portal sent us to some other magical dimension. Maybe we shouldn't have listened to this guy. Another checkpoint. Great. There's some kind of ghastly portal waiting for us ahead. By the way, it is really yellow, unlike the past, which was orange. Well, let's go through this, Abby, and find out where the yellow portal will lead us. 
We are already there, and the guy with the balloons is here too. He says this portal will speed us up. Great, looks like it's going to be like the energy drink run in Barry's jailbreak. Cool, now let's quickly run through this. Wow, we're running really fast. We have developed such great speed. I hope we don't fall while we're running so fast. These platforms are so curved. It seems to me that we don't even need to press the jump button to jump over these obstacles. Well, okay, we're past that. Now a blue portal awaits us. Let me guess, he'll give us a super jump? Well, of course, this portal made us jump very high. Otherwise, we simply would not have been able to climb up these platforms. They are located really high from each other. Just one jump left and we're at the top. Great. Yellow portal again? Cool. Now we'll be very fast again. What? Did we jump straight into a volcano? But where will we end up now? What kind of place is it? This guy with the balloons warns us that this place is very creepy. Well, I hope he's deceiving us. I wouldn't want Kane to pee his pants out of fear again. Stop constantly reminding everyone of this! It only happened once! Look, this is one of those tasks that we missed. But how did that door teleport us right to the very end last time? To be honest, I can't even imagine how this could happen. It really looks like some kind of clown magic. This task was actually quite easy. Perhaps this clown just decided that we were too cool for such simple tasks. Traps on the floor? Who sets traps indoors anyway? I can't imagine how much of a noob you have to be to step into one of these traps. They are really gigantic. It's just hard not to notice them. Okay, we've passed it. Now we find ourselves again in the task that we have already completed. This task was indeed quite difficult. Well, I think we can handle it on the first try. Just look how quickly Jax goes through all this. It's as if he was born to play this game. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's see if the clown has another test in store for us that we haven't seen. I don't remember this task exactly, but it seems to me that this task will be more difficult than the previous ones. Well, let's go through it as quickly as possible. I hope this is the last secret mission from the clown. Are you moving like Michael Jackson? It really looks like a moonwalk. I think that really helped him get through that level. Well, let's just head for the door now and see what happens next. Um, where are we? Oh, it's the guy with the balloons. Let's find out from him what we need to do. Kingler, have you forgotten? This is the end of the game. We've been here before. Okay, I thought these secret levels would be much more difficult. He's gaining altitude! I hope we won't fall now. This roller coaster really looks unsafe. I hope nothing breaks while we're riding it. Woohoo! We're going down! This attraction is actually quite scary. He picks up quite a lot of speed. Perhaps this is because we only have one carriage. Guys, have you really forgotten? We are about to fall off it because it is not completed. I think you need to eat more carrots to strengthen your memory. We just got out of this circus. Great, this guy with the balloons showed us the right way. Well, we've done this game, and now it's time to move on to the next one. Look at this venom! Oh my god, let's quickly press this button and run up from him. Wait, you see this too? You need to select the right button He doesn't even move, he just stands still. Hello everyone, friends. And today we will escape from Venom's prison. Venom Prison? I just love Marvel. I hope there will be other Marvel bosses here, too. It's a pity that there was only an easy mode for completing the game. I wish we could beat this game on hard mode. This mode was released only recently. They probably haven't had time to add a hard difficulty here yet. Okay, then! Let's go ahead and see what awaits us in this game. So far, everything is absolutely the same as in previous prisons in Bari. We need to get to the boss and see what boss fight awaits us. Look at this venom! Oh my god, let's quickly press this button and run up from him. I really hope he doesn't have superpowers in this mode. It seems to me that not only does he not have superpowers, but he is also very slow. This guy really can't catch up with us. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's just move forward. This guy is really too slow for a Marvel character. Well, I think it won't be difficult for us to complete this game. It's easier than all the other Barry prison escapes from the start. Well, now we will find ourselves in a room with toilets. It would be great if they could change this room in some way. But no, she remained the same. Look, they didn't even force us to dig a tunnel. Oh my god! I didn't think that the creators of this mode were so lazy. Well, okay, I think we can even set a record in this mode because we go through it pretty quickly. They even removed broken boards from the bridge. Seriously? Why did they decide to do this? This game is really too easy. What? They even removed the obstacles in the hallway with the rolling boulder. Is it now just a corridor to go forward? This is very stupid. This is no longer an obby, but some kind of easy, casual walk. Well, okay. 
Let's just go through this rolling boulder mission now and move on to the next boss, the knight. I'm very interested in how they changed his model. Are you seriously? Is this really the default boss knight from Prison Break Barry? But why isn't Venom or some other Marvel character here? Yes, it looks like the creators of this map are really lazy. Maybe we just didn't load his model, but I'm also disappointed that I saw an ordinary boss knight here. Well, let's go upstairs and move on to the next test. There are two more bosses ahead of us, and I hope that they tried to replace their models. Now we will be doing an energy drink race. I love it so much at this moment. The character develops such great speed. I wish I could play through the entire game at that speed. Well, we're almost there. I also really love energy drink races because they have a lot of action. Let's hurry to the vending and complete this race. The saddest thing is that they didn't even change the design of these rooms and they didn't even change the design of the race. It would be great if they added black colors and Venom logos, but unfortunately this did not happen. Yes, this is absolutely the same race as in Barry Prison. Well, it seems to me that they won't change anything else in this map. Well, that's the end. Let's not lose hope and just continue to go through this map. Maybe they will add something new next. Yes, I would also really like to see something new. Okay. Let's go up these stairs and go into the room where we will need to drag the stairs to the ventilation. This is my least favorite task in this game. Yes, I agree. In order to complete this task, normally, you need to place the ladder correctly under the ventilation. Very difficult to pass it on the first try. In general, I would really like to see new characters from Marvel because I really adore the villains from this universe, and especially Venom. My favorite Marvel villains would have to be Thanos and Killmonger. Thanos is a powerful and relentless villain who is determined to achieve his goal of wiping out half of all life in the cosmos. He's a force to be reckoned with and someone who can't be stopped easily. Even when faced with the most powerful heroes, he still finds a way to win. I'm a huge fan of Marvel villains, and my favorites are definitely Loki and Thanos. Loki is a cunning and manipulative character who can always find an angle to gain the upper hand. He's a devious and clever villain who always manages to make things just a bit more complicated for the heroes. Meanwhile, Thanos is an unstoppable force of nature who is single-minded in his mission to wipe out half of all life in the universe. He's a powerful and imposing villain with a terrifying level of commitment and determination. Okay, we've identified your favorite Marvel villains. Now let's finally complete this task. Now we need to get through this ventilation, and we will find ourselves in a huge wind tunnel. The main thing is not to forget to press the space button. Otherwise, we can lose a lot of time on this. Race with fans? I love this challenge as well as the energy drink run. This task is very fast. Yes, I really like it too. In general, I really like high speed in games. And in this task, everything really happens quite quickly. Well, we passed it very quickly, and now let's go to the huge wind tunnel. For some reason, it seemed to me that she would be a little earlier. Yes. I also thought that this task would be a little earlier. Maybe they just swapped them. Oh my god. Just look. They didn't change the chef's boss either. This is the standard boss from Barry's Prison Breaks. Okay, let's just defeat him as quickly as possible and move on to the next task. Jax, don't forget that you need to shoot directly at the head of this boss to deal more damage. This way, we can get through it much faster. We're almost done with it! Only a couple of shots left and... Yes! Wait, you see this too? I think they changed the task with going down the mountain a little. You need to select the right button and... Yes! We have chosen the button we need. Now let's pass this test with lasers. The only thing left to complete is this task with lasers and the task with bridges. To be honest, I have already lost hope that the final boss will be changed somehow. They didn't replace the previous two bosses, but only replaced the boss at the very beginning. Well, that's pretty sad. I would love to play this game if it had Marvel supervillain bosses. Yes, they changed the task with bridges, but here... We absolutely do not need to take bridges. We can just jump on the platforms and get to the final boss fight. They really made this game too easy. She even became a little boring. Well, let's look at the final boss. Of course, they didn't change it. Now it's just some flying boss with guns. He doesn't even move. He just stands still. I was hoping that they would try to change at least the final boss, but no. They didn't even fix the bug where the boss just stands in one place. These guys are really too lazy. Well, this game was too easy. Let's just beat the final boss and move on to the next game. 
Great! We beat him! Well, that was pretty easy. Towards the end, he even started moving towards us. But nevertheless, this did not stop us from winning. Okay, I didn't like this game very much because they changed almost nothing in it. Well, let's get in the car and move on to the next game. There's a very strange guy here. Why is our floor number now displayed incorrectly? Wait, really? Ducks falling from the sky? What should we do with them? Look, she has a gun. Oh no, don't shoot at us, weird blonde. Just give her the gun, What the hell is going on here? Look, this is a cute pink Pokemon. He's so cute. Looks like he killed us. Imagine what would happen if they all farted in this elevator at the same time. Uh, hello everyone, friends, and today we found ourselves in some kind of endless elevator. But what do we have to do here? I don't know yet. Let's just wait for this elevator to move. I wonder where he will take us. Okay, now we have to go. Wait, what? Why did we stay where we were? Um, there's really something strange going on here. I wish we could finally see where it takes us. I hope at least this time the elevator will take us somewhere. Okay, let's take a look and... Yes, the elevator brought us to some strange location. Why is this boomerang just spinning on the floor? What's going on here? This place is really strange. Well, let's head to the next floor. It seems to me that we didn't even notice that there was an evil Sonic in this location. Well, he didn't succeed in killing us. Why are there some drones in the elevator with us? I do not understand anything. I still don't understand what's going on here either. Okay, let's wait for the next floor. There's a very strange guy here. Looks like he's evil. Why is our floor number now displayed incorrectly? What's going on here? Does he want us dead? Apparently this guy is really evil. I hope he doesn't come into our elevator and kill us. Oh no! We could be crushed by a wall now. We urgently need to press ourselves against the second wall to prevent this from happening. Did she stop? Great. I thought we were really going to die. Well, this floor was actually pretty creepy. I hope that on the next floor something more adequate awaits us. Wait, really? Ducks falling from the sky? What should we do with them? Can they be collected or not? What's going on here? This game is really quite strange. I don't understand what's going on here at all. This is really quite crazy. I still hope that we can take at least one duck with us so that we can quack quack in the elevator when we get scared. Does this sound really relax you? I was afraid of ducks as a child because I was bitten on the butt by a duck when I was a child. This is all very cool, of course, but why the hell is there a boomerang on every floor? Why is it even needed? If I knew the answer to this question, I would definitely answer you. But now I can't understand what's going on in this game as a whole. Where do these guys even get skins and something like that? I saw that someone here even has a weapon. How can we get something like this too? Now we will get to some floor. Just look, this is a huge obby. Perhaps if we pass it, we will receive some kind of prize. So let's try to go through it as quickly as possible to reach the end first. Look, the water is rising. Could this mean that we have no room for error? I hope we don't fall there. Okay, now the main thing is not to rush because if we rush, we may fall down. The main thing is to be concentrated. This looks quite complicated. Go, Jax! I believe in you! You will succeed! Oh no, he fell into the water. Look, our HP decreases little by little while we are in the water. We urgently need to get out of this water. Why do you constantly repeat the word water? Did water pay you for advertising? Or do you just love water? Water, water, water. Well, it looks like we won't be getting a prize today. It's a shame I really wanted to get to the top of this obby. Did we die and start over in the lobby? Okay, I hope we don't have to go through the same floors we've already been on. Look, she has a gun. Oh no, don't shoot at us, weird blonde. We will give you all the money. Well, um, uh, is our elevator completely filled with trash? What? Guys, this is an elevator and not a garbage chute. Why is there so much garbage here? Well, great. All the garbage has disappeared and now we are waiting for the next floor. I hope there won't be a room with ducks. And I would like to listen to the quack of ducks again. Okay, look, there are two guys standing here, and one is asking the other for a hot dog. What's going on here? Give me the hot dog! Hey! Give me the hot dog! Give me the hot dog! Just give me the goddamn hot dog! What the hell is going on here? This is really some strange nonsense. What did we just see? We found a hot dog! Great! I hope this guy isn't too sad about this. Now this hot dog is ours. I really don't understand what we need to do with him. Wait, does this hot dog make a sound? I think this is the best loot we could find in this game. I think this is one of the strangest games we've played. Besides Pomni's and the Bubble Favorite game, definitely the weirdest game I've played would have to be My Horse Prince. It's a mobile dating sim where you're dating an anthropomorphic horse. It's pretty strange and bizarre as you train and groom your horse and romance him in different settings like the beach, park, and other places. 
It's hilarious and completely unhinged, so it definitely qualifies as the strangest game I've ever played. I'm not even surprised that you played some nonsense like this. You really love weird games. The weirdest game I've played would have to be Goat Simulator. In this game, you play as a goofy-looking goat who can do all sorts of crazy things like jumping on top of buildings and cars, destroying objects, and even flying around using a jetpack. It's a completely nonsensical and bizarre game with no real goal or purpose other than just causing as much chaos as you possibly can. Look, this is a cute pink Pokemon. He's so cute. I hope he gives us some interesting loot or something. Looks like he killed us! Well, apparently this Pokemon isn't as cute as we thought. Okay, we've reappeared in the lobby and now we need to go to the elevator. What are these sounds? These guys have pistols with grappling hooks! I also want such a gun! He would have helped us pass that obby that we couldn't pass! Okay, the elevator door opened and... What? A huge number of noobs come to us. Why are there so many of them? Imagine what would happen if they all farted in this elevator at the same time. I wonder if you can actually die from this. I can't make out what they are saying. Well, I hope this is something normal and we won't have to censor the word. Okay, they're gone. Now let's just wait for the next floor. Look, the door is opening. Oh my god, this is the room from the game portal. So I was playing through the game and had just completed a difficult challenge. I felt proud of myself for making it through. But then I suddenly heard a new voice saying, Good job, dummy. Now do it again, but this time without using any portals at all. It turned out it was a joke added by the devs and I had just gotten trolled. Well, we're done with the room from the portal game, and let's now see what the next floor will be like. I hope there will finally be something where we get loot. Okay, the door has opened and let's see what awaits us on this floor. Um, Taco Rain? Seriously? Well, it even made me a little hungry. Wait, I just noticed that our hot dog is missing? Is it really possible for you to lose all your items when you die? This is very stupid. Someday we will finally understand why this boomerang is here, but it definitely won't be today. Okay, maybe we can finally get some tacos in our inventory. It seems to me that they cannot be selected. Well, it's just a floor of falling tacos. This game is really quite strange. I don't know what the final goal could be here, other than to go through all the floors that are here. Okay, let's move on to the next game. 